How's it going, everybody? Jacob here with Smetting Performance. This is going to be part two of our supercharged 1,000 horsepower, 416 cubic inch LS3 engine build. In part one of this build, we blueprint assembled the short block of this 6.2 liter converted to a Stroker 416 engine. The rotating assembly is our Smetting 1000 horsepower rated kit, which includes our 4340 forged, fully internally balanced crankshaft and power adder H-beam connecting rods with ARP 2000 hardware. The pistons are Icon's premium series, 2618 forged, 180 wall thickness trend wrist pins, stainless steel top ring, Napier second ring, and the really cool thermal barrier coating. For the valve train, we're running a custom blower camshaft with our Gatorman hydraulic roller link bar lifters. These lifters are a great upgrade for anybody running an LS7 style or CTSV caddy style lifter. They completely eliminate the plastic trays and give you the extra durability and reliability of a solid link bar. These lifters are now in stock. We finally got them on the shelf, so grab them while you can. In part one, we assembled the short block, of course, and that's kind of our first stage because after that, we can then measure our deck height to order the correct thickness head gasket to give us the quench that we want to run for this engine. Because this engine is going to run a supercharger, I want this guy to have about 55 thousandths of quench when it's cold. Because it's an aluminum engine block, that block is going to expand about four thousandths, bringing our total quench to almost 60 thou which is very safe, very conservative for a supercharger. We don't want the tune-up to be super, super critical and on edge and potentially give this customer detonation issues in the future. Now the head gaskets have arrived, I can continue building this long block. So I'm gonna install his LS3 cylinder heads, triple check push rod length, and then install the valve train, and then it is good to go. Really quick side note, guys. Whenever you guys get a set of CNC ported cylinder heads, there is a good chance that the bolt hole for your intake rocker arm is going to penetrate into the cylinder port. See that light coming through? There's a hole right there. Whenever you guys install your intake rocker bolts, you need to put thread sealant on these threads. We use Permatex thread sealant with PTE and that will seal this hole completely so you don't consume a bunch of oil through the intake rocker stud, rocker bolt. I see so many engines come through the shop that customers have put their own CNC heads on and not put any thread sealant on these bolts and then wonder why they're consuming so much oil and why their spark plugs are always dirty. Make sure you put thread sealant on these and then you're good to go. Now that our cylinder heads are installed, I'm going to double check push rod length, make sure that nothing has changed. So I'm going to measure my intake push rod first. So we're actually going to drop our adjustable push rod onto our exhaust lifter, put a little bit of pressure on it, and you're going to rotate it over until you feel it begin to open. So I'm rolling it over. And 
as soon as you feel it move up, you're gonna stop. It's right there. Now let's drop it on our intake. By doing that, we have now put the intake lobe on the base circle, I'm sorry, we've put the intake lifter on the base circle of the camshaft. Next, take our intake rocker, and we're gonna drop it on. Go ahead and torque it to spec, which is 22 pounds. Now, reach in behind it, and you're going to expand the push rod while putting pressure on it with the rocker arm. And take up all that vertical lash. A little difficult to do on the factory heads. There we go. So I still have a little bit of side to side play, but vertically it's solid. There's not a single budge. Now we can crack it loose. and pull that push rod straight out. Take a quick measurement. And we have a current zero lash length of 3.66 inches. So the push rods that this customer originally had will still be perfect for this engine and we can continue with the assembly. The long block is now complete and the valve train is totally set and ready to rock. Luckily our Gatorman link bar lifter has the exact same plunger depth as a LS7 or CTSV Caddy race lifter. So your push rods can be totally reused through the same length. All I've got left to do now is pop the valve covers on this engine and then it is ready to get picked up. And just like that this engine is complete and ready for pickup. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see y'all next time.